So I'm sitting here in my local Catholic church in this small prayer room. And I come here from time to time to pray, even though I'm not Catholic, because I want to feel more connected to God. And they said, silence is the language of God. And that's how you really connect to your higher consciousness, to the divine source. And so, you know, the father here has been so generous and I've come and received his counsel from time to time even though he can't take my confession because I'm not Catholic. So he's just advised me in his office. And so I'm such a spiritual junkie. I read tons of spiritual books. I watch a ton of spiritual documentaries. But ironically, I don't have a spiritual home or community that I go to every week. So I want to ask you for your help. If you belong to a church or temple, or some spiritual community in your local area, I want to know how you found your spiritual community or home. So I'm back from church and in front of my computer, and I want to show you some of the local churches and temples that I've attended from time to time. But I've never committed to any one place fully. And so I'd really like to get your help in letting me know how you found your spiritual home. And I want to show you some of the local places, their websites, on my computer and so this is the list of places that are in my area and we just visited this church the St. Hedwig Church right here and I love this church this is a local Catholic church and it's a wonderful church I've met some beautiful people here and the father in these in this church the fathers i should say because there's usually two fathers are wonderful people and they really serve their community and they've really been serving for many many years locally you know they do a lot of things for the homeless and for people who really need their services and this is the church <laughs> where i've made my confession well, not confessions but i've unofficially confessed and the father Koi and Father Tuan have been so generous and have seen me in their office from time to time when I had some issues in my life and had a heavy heart. But again, like I said, I'm not Catholic and I don't know if I want to be Catholic. So I'm not sure if this is where I want to fully commit and have my spiritual home here. So let me show you a couple of other places that I've been to. This is another church. Oh, let's see over here. Oh, Cottonwood Church. This is also a church that's about one mile from my home. I can even walk there. And I've met so many people around here that attend this church. And actually people from other towns come to attend this Cottonwood Church. And I've met wonderful people that work for the church as well as attend the church. And the reason why I'm a little hesitant about Conwood is that this church is so big. It's a pretty big church. I mean, I think their congregation is in the thousands. And I feel a little lost because the congregation is just so big. But their programs are very wide and varied. And I want something more intimate, you know, more close. And I just always felt that it was just way too big. But again, the church is wonderful. They really do serve their community and they serve a lot of people. So this is another church that um, I have considered but haven't fully committed to. Now I want to show you another place that I've attended a few times but I haven't completely committed to is this church, Good Shepherd Church. And they're Presbyterian. <laughs> And again, I don't know if I want to be Presbyterian. You know, for me, religion is more of a packaging. It's about what rituals you place with that religion. So what rituals you place with being part of the Catholic community or being part of the Presbyterian community or being part of the Buddhist community or being part of the, uh, the Muslim community. There are rituals. And I always say that's just a packaging. But I always feel like, for me, spirituality transcends that packaging. Now, if those rituals help you in being connected spiritually, then yes, I think that's a great way to be part of that church. However, 
I don't know if the rituals of these uh, churches are something that I fully subscribe to. And I think if it works for the members and if it works for you, definitely go that route. Go that route. Go the route of Catholicism or Judaism or Muslim. Go the route that where you feel the most spiritual connected to. And I feel like I haven't found the rituals in these organizations that I fully maybe connect to. Maybe that's the reason why I've been hesitant. I'm not 100% sure because this is a wonderful place and they have like Tuesday night gatherings at the Good Shepherd, like dinners that they provide for free and I love that. And those dinners are so warm and wonderful. I've met some wonderful people at Good Shepherd as well. And you know, I really started my spiritual journey in Buddhism. And so I was looking for a Buddhist temple in the area. And I was considering really Tibetan Buddhism because that's where I spent one month about 15 years ago in a Tibetan Buddhist meditation center. And I've always followed Buddhism. You know, I've tried Zen Buddhism and other types of Buddhism and Tibetan Buddhism. So this is one of the temples that I've attended a few times. And this is truly from the Tibetan Buddhist lineages. So the monks that come here to this temple, they're actually coming from Tibet and they're doing a rotation. <laughs> and so a lot of times they don't even speak English. And so there's a translator. And what I found about the translator and he's so fabulous and he's so sweet and the monks are so sweet is that sometimes I get the, I feel like the message of the monk is, uh, of the Buddhist monk is really lost in the translation. And I, sometimes I feel like, I don't know if that's what the monk meant to say, you know? So I don't know. I haven't quite put my spiritual home here as well. So I am still looking and there's one place that I feel like maybe, maybe the place for me and it's called the Spirituality Center in Seal Beach. And this place is actually a little further from me, but just looking at their website, it just seems like they are very non-denominational, which is great, and which is kind of what I feel like I am because I love to, I love to watch documentaries and read books about all the religions. You know, Mother Teresa is one of my spiritual icons, even though, <laughs> even though I'm not Catholic. And, you know, obviously Buddha is one of my icons and so is Gandhi, you know, and so is Yogananda and so is Jesus, you know, so I'm really crossing all barriers. And so this is the next place that I want to try out is the Center for Spiritual Living because I already like the title Center for Spiritual Living because it seems so non-denominational. So I want to try this place and see if, uh, if this place really resonates with my soul, with my journey. And if it does, I will make my spiritual home here. So if you can please give me any tips about how you found your spiritual home, if you already found it, and if you haven't found it, tell me what you're doing to find your spiritual home and community. I, you know, I really, really want to place my roots somewhere. You know, I want to dig my roots in a place because I think that once I really commit to a place and really focus in that spiritual community that I could benefit even more because I could delve in even more to my spirituality. So if you can help me, I would really, really appreciate it. And, um, and if you like this video and my personal holistic living tips, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see all of my uh, holistic living tips, just visit my website at yinyangliving.com. Namaste.